come on. Really? Hi guys, Emmy here and welcome back to another episode of Behind the Scenes. Now, as you can see, I have a name tag and I have some jack-o'-lantern. So, I'm probably going to decorate the area a bit and I am finally going to name my parrot. And now for my house, um, probably going to put them in front of there trying to think where else I could put some I might put some on like on the outside of my house I haven't quite decided yet but it'll be fun it'll be interesting to try and get to them it's a case of just decorating around where we live and I'm gonna put some down at the farm even though I tend to only get a few things from the farm every now and then. At least it's going to have some decoration if we go past it. Which we will do in episode 50. Which, to be honest guys, isn't all that far away now. Oh yeah, guys, um, she did notice before the episode started that these blocks were here. So before we started the live stream, she noticed that these coloured blocks had changed. Nope, she still kept them there. She hasn't done anything with them. <laughs> so I don't know if she's going to remove them and put the original blocks back or what. So far, the decorations coming out quite nice. I might decorate over by the tree farm, but I haven't fully decided. But so far, it's not looking too shabby. It's looking a little bit more like Halloween in here. I can't wait. I really can't. Okay, guys, so the time has come to name my parrot. And I really couldn't think of anything else. So, my parrot is going to be called Mango. It's really not the colour of a mango, but I couldn't think of anything else. And for some reason, I just had the word mango in my mind. Yeah, it's kind of a contradiction, but... You know? Welcome to the family, mango. <laughs> it's just going to be so funny. Uh, but now, what I do want to do is... I want to go on another adventure and I want to get some more spruce wood so it looks like I'll be going to a spruce forest and getting some more wood Okay guys, so on my travels I ended up gathering some food, 
so I just need to put the food away in the chest that I've got down here um apples over here there's only two of them but it's better than nothing so pumpkin put you there melon I've got quite a bit of melon actually um what else have I got sugar cane's gonna go there I believe bread's here which I don't have much bread but I have some wheat so obviously I'm gonna go farming get some more wheat okay guys so I'm at the farm and what I'm wanting is I'm wanting more wheat so I'm gonna get rid of the beetroot the potatoes and the carrots and I'm gonna whack a stack or two in this chest so that or at least like get the seeds Okay guys, so I'm sorry about that. You probably heard my phone going off. It was my boyfriend. He did phone me. It, it was about shopping, about what we wanted and that sort of stuff. What I'm currently doing or what I've done so far is I have planted whatever seeds that I had and i'm literally just using bone meal just to try and get some more seeds to fill the rest of the farm up because right now it's looking a bit bare and we i need the seeds i could technically go to the the barn but I kind of don't want to travel all that way just to come back just to plant the seeds oh come on really I might have to go to the barn but yeah sometimes I just prefer to bone meal it because sometimes it's quicker sometimes it's not now i did have a load of seeds in there but i ended up moving them and yeah so i'm having to go all the way over here chill your beans all the way over here to get the seeds which there there's a lot of seeds don't know how many seeds i'm gonna need i don't think i'm gonna need that many and if i do i'll be surprised so now i'm just gonna go all the way back so what i want to do is i want to place you back there and I want to get a couple of stacks of seeds out. I can still hear that bat. Don't know if you guys can hear it, but I can. I hope it gets um 
I hope it touches lava. <laughs> That's that sounds cruel, but I think we do have a cave underneath the farm. I know we had an underground ravine underneath our houses. <laughs> Okay guys, so if this part of the audio sounds different, I've recorded it separately. Now, what I was trying to say here was I was going to make a bunch of bone meal to be able to quickly grow trees. Now, I did end up quickly growing the trees. I needed a lot of wood, but you will see that part anyway. But yeah, that's the reason why I've had to do the audio again because I was stumbling across my words way too much and I just needed to redo the audio. Okay, so we have more than enough dark oak and spruce wood. So I am going to do jungle and acacia. I didn't realise that you had to use four saplings for the dark oak but luckily the internet is a great invention and I managed to get it sorted and I've nearly got a full row of the wood chest done with dark oak. I can currently put that to one side so them ones are going to one side whereas these ones are going to get sorted once all these leaves have despawned. So this is what it's looking like so far for the amount of wood that I have gathered. I've just whacked everything in the ender chest to make it a lot easier for myself. So I have got almost two stacks of jungle wood and not even a stack of acacia. I mean I've got like, yeah. Not many at all, so I've got to work on that quite a bit. Alright guys, so we are going to be decorating a bit more. And I decided what better way to decorate than put pumpkins on the bridges. Considering we haven't decorated the bridges all that much, I thought it would be nice to get it done and then maybe put some near the barn as well so we're just gonna decorate around I don't know where we're gonna put them I know some of them are going on bridges some but I don't know if that's a bit too much or n not enough I feel like that's a bit too much what I might do is I might let you guys tell us in the stream if it's too much or if you think I need to put more around. Now, if you guys did want to come into the realm, we do have quite a few beds. Now, we've got some stuff here for you guys to use. There's some armour. Of course, we will probably put more armour down depending on how many people come in right guys so i have made a sort of um, just a makeshift pen for now and i think you know why there are rabbits here unfortunately i am going to be killing some of these rabbits to try and get some rabbit feet i kind of want to get potions of leaping 
and currently I only have one rabbit foot. Of course, to obtain more, I am going to have to kill these poor little things. Okay guys, so, so far we have two raw rabbit, five cooked, seven rabbit hide, and one rabbit's foot. I have got a long way to go. But what I have done is, I have made a little area where I can filter the rabbits through. So for example, when I breed a bunch, I will open these two um, gates and filter some of the rabbits through, close the gates, open another set of gates where that gap is and let them into this area. And then that is where I do the killing. It's not nice, but... And I don't like the sounds they make. Guys, this is going to be a long process. And I can see that I'm going to get a lot more rabbit hide and rabbit meat before these. It's going to take me a while. So I am going to have to farm these rabbits mostly off screen. But I will keep you up to date as to what I have got so far. So you'll see sections where you'll say, oh, I've got this many now, or I've got that many now. So guys, I have swapped the rabbits out for some pigs. And I'm basically just going to be doing the rounds with some animals and obviously getting some more meat. We barely use meat on here. Well, I say barely. It's it's usually only me that touches the meat on here. Lizzie tends to have the carrots, so I guess I've kind of got free reign on everything else. But it'd be good to stock up on some anyway. Okay, guys, so I'm almost done with pigs. I've just got to wait for these guys to all grow up. But I'm starting to do the chickens now. So I'm just getting these little guys in this area for now. I've got to wait till they become full grown adults. And then I can start breeding them. Now I did kill the chickens at the barn. So they're all gone at the moment. I will replenish the area at the barn, maybe. But I do have quite a few eggs that I need to um, get throwing. Okay guys, so the only thing we didn't really get was any steak or mutton, but we can do that another time or another day. So I'm just going to put all of this in their respective chests, which put chops. I did get maybe a couple of bits of steak, chicken, and we now have a chest for cooked rabbit. <sighs> I didn't want to do that, but it had to be done. And I am just cooking some fish up here, so... Okay guys, so it's come to my attention that recently there has been some of our subs that have been quite impatient with shout outs and such. Now what I mean by this is we have had our subs asking for us to talk about them in videos. We do shout outs on a weekly basis. So that is shout outs during one video a week which is usually on the friday shout outs won't be done any other time apart from in stream on the friday and obviously because we've got quite a few people following us on instagram we can't always guarantee that you are going to be the next shout out and the reason we can't guarantee is because they get picked mostly on the activity 
So for example, if you are in our notifications feed and you're in there quite a bit, you are most likely to get picked as a shout out. Now, the reason I'm saying this is because I don't want people begging for shout outs. Now, I'm the one that usually picks them and what this means is if you ask for a shout out or if you say you want to be talked about in a video and you want us to talk about you, you are going to be less eligible for a shout out. I don't pick shout outs when I have been put under pressure or put on the spot. That's the way it's going to go. It's either that or we completely get rid of shout outs and we don't bother. So it is up to you guys. I mean, I don't want to get rid of the shout outs. I'm pretty sure my sister doesn't. In a way, we are sort of recognising our subs and obviously the people who follow us on Instagram and all that sort of stuff. So guys, that'll be it for this week's episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, comment below. If you're new to our channel, then subscribe if you like our content. And I will see you next time, guys. Bye.